the question is, is college worth it for me as an adult? Um, well, for me, it was definitely worth it because I know that during the pandemic, a lot of times there was a huge pivot and um, it made it difficult to retain employment. Some of the places just shut down completely and everyone had to look for either be able to stay at home or seek out new employment and then also have the skills that they needed to make that pivot. And I know that with a college education, you know, you have a good general knowledge and then um, also more specific in your discipline to where it makes you more employable, gives you a lot more opportunities, can increase uh, what you're making, but it definitely is fulfilling because during that time, you know, knowing that you were still able to be essential, even if it wasn't an essential position necessarily, is what right. they saw it. And would you yeah. like to add anything? Yes. Yeah, so considering the people that we work with, which are low income and first generation adults, like they're at that phase where they believe it's too late to get a college education because of how far they are in life in terms of having a family, having a job. And we come across those that say, like, why go to college when I already have a job and I make insert money out of here? And I always tell my clients, like, yeah, you are making that amount, but just how much more you can make when you have that degree in your resume. So if you're not, even though you're not thinking about education and you think about making, you know, making the money, chasing the bag, how you say, then that will definitely up your chances of getting those promotions that do promote to have, you know, having a better income. And the another thing is the stigmas that follow around that. Like, you know, you have people clients that are in their 60s, 50s, 70s and say like they're too old to go back to school. And my response is, if you're alive, then you have room to learn. Exactly. So with that in mind, and plus there's also perks of someone who's a senior citizen and trying to get in college in the state of Arkansas. And some don't even know this about the free tuition that schools offer if you're at a certain age 60 plus. Right. So it's a matter of, you know, taking down those boundaries where we share that information and resource to the adult clients, let them know that, you know, you can go back to college because there are benefits beyond what you're thinking. It's not just about getting a degree, but also enhancing the skill set that you've already learned from the uh, work experience in the first place. Right. But uh, for us, is the, uh, for me, the uh, benefits, uh, because, you know, not every job will provide you with life insurance, dental, health, uh, you name it, even like retirement. So uh, once you have a degree, you can find those type of jobs or you can at least negotiate with them to get better benefits and even like getting paid even if you're off. So like pay time off and vacation and all that. So those are just uh, some perks that as an adult can really benefit from, especially if they have um, kids. Because, you know, when they're out of school or they're sick, you can take off and not have to worry about not getting paid. Right. So. I'd also like to add to that is when you were mentioned about the jobs, because I'll have clients that talk about, you know, what is the benefit of going to college and you don't have a job? And the scenario I'll play out is suppose that you talk to your supervisor about wanting to get a promotion and you're up against another guy. And the guy who has 30 plus years experience has the experience to go, but he doesn't have the education to climb higher in the ladder compared to the person who has maybe less experience but has that degree to do so. So exactly. once you have that degree, it saves you time for having to go back and rush because you already have it by the time you're at that point in your career. 